Hello friends, this is Gloria Parra here today with a new process video. This time using the wonderful Simple Vintage Spring Garden Collection by Simple Stories. If you ever think of the perfect spring collection, this is it friends. I couldn't love this collection more. The color combo in this is, is what you think of when you think of spring. So let me show you a little of this collection. I love this. Like this is, this is all I love for spring. We have the gingham pattern papers on one side. This is the, the vintage basic kit that can be used for so many things. So look at that color combination. And this side you have all the textured pattern paper that can be used as the base of your layouts, your cards. I love that, that package there. We have here the cardstock stickers and look at all those yummy, beautiful colors and spring motifs. We have butterflies, we have beautiful florals in this collection and we have tons of sayings, the little bunny. I love that it's not necessarily like Easter themed, but it's it gives you the possibility for use it for gardening, for you know those beautiful photos that we have in the spring. So I, I I see so much possibility in this collection. I love the little words that Simple Stories always offers for us down here. I pick you. I love you. You are the sunshine of my life. Stop and smell the smell the flowers. So it's very versatile. And of course we have all the beautiful patterned papers, tags. I love the patchwork feel in this collection. You can add stitching and it would look amazing. Okay, so I see very bold and big patterns here, but that would be perfect to combine them with this pattern papers. Okay, I'm gonna show you the embellishments really, really fast because there are tons of it. Let's start with the chipboard elements. We have the chipboard frames that if you know me, I love those. So I have a March. My daughter's birthday is in March and I love, I love that I can use this for her birthday, for her spring birthday. We have this element here. We have the bits and pieces with beautiful motifs and we have the floral ones. And friends, I need a couple packages of this one. I'm ordering more because I see myself using tons of florals for this, for my layouts. We also have the, the bigger ephemeras here, layered beads and ephemeras that have like a gardening feel, beautiful. And really fast, we have enamel dots and I love that they, they are shiny. We have the beautiful layered chipboards here, the, the deco brads and all the chipboard pieces down there. The rub-ons, friends, you gotta try this. If you haven't, they go on like butter. And the chipboard stickers, bloom, flowers, garden. Look at this piece here, very, and look at the little bunny and the teacup. Gorgeous, 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 friends. I love this like block alphabets. I love them. So many possibilities. We have the, the little sticker book that I always love, the six by eight, and we have a stencil and the stunning washi tapes. So friends, let's start with this layout. Okay, friends, let's start with this new layout. For this layout, I want to use this two patterned papers that I love. And I have these beautiful spring photos of my daughter who has a little rabbit there and like a little cartwheel. Not sure what the exact name of it it is, but there you can see her. She looks super cute. And I want to use these these photos. I haven't attached them because I'm not sure which one I will use. I just attach them with washi tape. Okay. 
the idea I have for this layout, for this layout is the following. I've gone ahead and I've cut it three sets of circles, okay? These is just to have, I won't be using this cardstock, this is just some plain cardstock that I had on hand. And I've used my We Are Circle Cutter. If I can find it, I want to show it to you, it's here, okay? I've used this tool, which is really easy to use, but if you don't have it on hand, you can use a big plate, a medium plate, or anything you have around, maybe this foam adhesives, whatever you have on hand, you don't need the tool. But the idea that I have is to use my white color by cardstock as my va base for my layout. And I will be adding the big circle to this side over here. Okay. Remember, this are just like this won't be used. I will be using my pattern paper. I just want to use them as my as my pattern to cut. Okay. So let's start. I'm gonna first start cutting it there. Because if I cut my pattern paper with this tool, I won't be able to save, guys, okay? That's why I'm cutting it with this, with a cardstock first. Okay. Let's take this out. And this is what we will have on this side. Okay, and I will go and trace it to my pattern paper and have it perfectly there. So I've added a little adhesive here, a little double-sided adhesive, and just to be able to calculate my circle, leaving the border that I want, and I will cut the, the second circle, okay? I'm really liking this new EK trimmer. It's a little longer than all the others that I have. It's 13 inch, so I can fit bigger things. And it's very portable. Okay, so we have that one. And that way I can calculate and cut my pattern paper that perfect size. I'm gonna have the bigger one here. And I can adhere it and just slice it over there and slide. Put this one here and slice it there. And that way I can cut all those shapes from my two pattern papers. And so I have my three big patterns and I'm gonna do the same for the smaller one, for the smaller shapes, the smaller circles, and I'm gonna trace them in this beautiful, like solid or, or I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's just gorgeous with some very subtle pattern in the back. Okay, so now, I will cut my pattern paper. Okay, so I'm finally done cutting my two sizes of circle. I used, like I showed you, the, the little We Are tool. And I also used some circular elements I had on hand to create my smaller circle. I've added a pencil line that I'm gonna use as a reference to stitch with my sewing machine because I wanna add some machine stitching there. So I will add it and I'll be back. Okay, magically I've added all my stitching to my circles. I always get a little scared when I need to stitch circles. Let me be honest here, but I did a good job. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. If I can give you a tip is go very slow and steady, okay? And just keep turning, keep turning, keep turning your circle. And I always draw a little line. That way I, I have something to follow. And that's it. We have our three little circles here. You can, we can ruffle them up a little. And I'm gonna adhere it to my, to my base now. I love how this is going to look and we're going to 
add lots of florals on top and we're gonna make and that way the florals will pop because if we put it against this pattern paper or a very a very bold pattern paper we won't get the florals to pop up okay so let's add our circle here double-sided pieces and I want to add some foam adhesive to this one to have it pop up a little okay. so I have my two millimeter foam adhesives here and I'm gonna add that one Okay, so we do the same for all three smaller circles and we add here or there there. Now let's go ahead and adhere our two bigger ones. We're gonna have this one, we're gonna cut that on the right side and this one we will cut it up there so let's just add adhesive to this part now that I have my three circles adhered and popped up with foam I'm ready to start like putting my layout together I don't want to commit yet with the circles because I'm not sure how much I can bring them in or out so I just adhere this one to my base and let's start. Let's start. I have a, my little tray here with the things that I want to use. And here is the photo of my girl. I will just, I think I'm just going to use one chipboard frame. And I want to create a little balance here. And I've chosen three big florals from the floral pack. I want to bring all three colors down here. Okay, and on all my floral layers, I want to try to vary the, um, the colors a little, okay? So try not to play like all pinks on one cluster. Just try to, I want to try to, to have all the colors represented on my clusters. That way we create some, some balance there. Okay, you can play with your florals. These florals are so beautiful. They looked like they had been watercolored. I really love them. They look very similar to the, I'm not sure what the name of this flower is. Maybe peonies, something like that, but they look similar. I love that. Okay, so we're gonna have that little cluster there. I have my other clusters here. So we have this springtime little foam sticker title from the foam pack from this one. So I took it out and I I've, I've put some some powder on the back just to take the adhesive off. And the hello springtime will be my title. I was thinking of maybe adding it to one of my smaller circles or on this side. Let's play with this a little and see and see where this layout goes. We have some flowers on the top that we can create a little cluster with. So we have the white ones. We have yellow, white, and the pink. Something like that. And I want to add this little word like block block letters. I got those from the sticker book. If you follow my videos, you know that the sticker book is something I I really use a lot. And I try to create the, something different with them. They always come with, with a different element. Like, look at these tags. These tags are gorgeous that you can like do something very fun with them. Or these little borders. And I took these words from, from this page. I back them up uh, with some thicker cardstock and I'm going to use them like all around my page. So we have the floral there. 
and we're going to create our little floral cluster, our final cluster down here. Okay, so I had something like that already planned and thought about. Okay, so we're going to have our three clusters. And I was thinking of grow, love. Whenever you're doing this word, I like to work in threes. But threes like that, like it, something's missing here. So I like working with odd numbers. And that's why I'm going to bring five of this ones here. I'm going to put, I believe I had joy in the top and maybe bloom down here. And that way we have like a little thing that our eye moves around the page. And I really like that. I'm going to cut my circles with this little guillotine paper trimmer that will cut my adhesive, my foam adhesive, if there's some on the top, and it will cut it with no problem. Okay, so I have my line and I can follow that really well. There we go, and we're going to... Straighten that up a little. It distresses it a little, but that's no problem. This one came up perfectly without any distress like this one. I think I went too slow there, but it works. And we have our little circles here, ready to go. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and start adhering our circles. That way we have them ready. Friends, if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps, helps me so much. And if you like and I want to leave a comment. Her comments make my day. They make me really happy. If you, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them down. I love responding to your to your messages. And if you have any doubts or questions, I love clarifying them for you. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. We can now start adhering our flowers. We can pinch them a little, give them some dimension and make them look more real. Okay. You're gonna have them there. You can move them around however you like them. Do you want more of the greenery or less? And we're gonna put them up there. I was also thinking of adding some butterflies like floating all around. We're going to see how that looks. Maybe it's too much. I'm going to use my foam adhesive to adhere my flowers as well. Okay, friends, I have my first floral cluster ready up there. I've added some foam under the love and I want to have it like coming out of the little floral cluster at the left side. We have that one there. That way we create like little different like stairs. I don't know how to call them, but I, I love how they look like going out of the... I already like fluffed my flowers up a little to create dimension. And now I think, I don't know which one you like better, but we have these two options. What do you think? I think I like this one. Let's just tuck this one under and let's start adhering. Oh, I love how that looks. And let's pop this joy up. I love that. I was trying to not have them on a straight line, you know, because I was going to have it here, but they looked the same. So I want something that goes, you know, not in the same line. And that gives me the chance to put it a little more up. So let's start adhering. 
Let's bring in our foam stickers, foam adhesives, and that way we can start. You can lay some of them, adhere some of them flat, and just pop the, the florals, the, like the leaves up. That way we have a little dimension. without the added bulk. So friends, here I am. I've adhered my little title here. I added some foam to race it up. And I did my journaling, a very sweet journaling for my girl. I like leaving her some words of wisdom, some little messages. And I thought this collection was perfect to remind her that, that things pass and change is good sometimes. So. That's what I wrote about. And now that I have everything adhered and I like how, how it looks, I want to add the finishing touches. And I was thinking about those butterflies that I have all around here. I was thinking of adding one there and maybe a couple going up here. I don't know if it looks, if it's too much. That's my thing. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. I like, I'm a more, more girl. So I don't know what you think, if it's too much with the butterflies. I also was thinking of bringing in other, other elements, other finishes like chipboard, like foam, since all this is mainly die cut, right? I like that I can like fluff them up. That's what I like. But let's look around. We have a bunch of butterflies over here, hearts. And little bees we can play with those we also have well these are big oh i forgot about the rubbins maybe i should add some but i'm gonna leave it for another layout and i'm missing my foam stickers which are here and we got some beautiful bees some small butterflies because i don't want them to be that big Let's try that out. Maybe this one. And I don't have enough butterflies though. Maybe I can have some. I really like that they fluff up their wings. So what do you think? Should I add those? Maybe let's try the little bees. Like go in there. There. They look cute as well. You can try those on. You can have all of them are looking to the right side. We need some looking to the left. You see, all of them are looking to the right. Okay, let's try this one. Maybe here. This one. Finally, friends, I've made my mind. I just added the little butterflies that I loved and that I can kind of curl them up. I just placed a little foam strip there. I used this foam strip and I placed it in the middle, curled them up, and I love all the texture in this layout. I don't know if you get to see it, but it's layers of layers of goodness of flowers. So we have our little our three little embellishment clusters and you can go ahead and add some enamel dots or you can keep it more simple if that's what you like but i love the end result i love this collection it's a wonderful beautiful sweet sweet collection very versatile not only easter not only spring but very versatile so i hope you've enjoyed this video friends thank you so much for watching don't forget to press that subscribe button and if you enjoyed it to give it a thumbs up thank you so much great to see you this was gloria parra for simple stories <laughs>